This is a tutorial on how to solve the 1983 College Board AP Chemistry free response question number one. Sulfurochloride, SO2Cl2, is a highly reactive gaseous compound. When heated, it decomposes as follows. SO2Cl2 gas yields SO2 gas plus Cl2 gas. Although, to better envision the endothermic reaction, it is helpful to add heat plus to the beginning of the equation. <clears throat> A. This decomposition is endothermic. A sample of 3.509 grams of SO2Cl2 is placed in an evacuated 1 liter bulb at the temperature is raised 375 degrees Kelvin. What would be the pressure in atmospheres in the bulb if no dissociation of the SO2Cl2 gas occurred? For this question, all we need is two things. One, to change 3.509 grams of SO2Cl2 into moles of SO2Cl2, done here. And two, PV equals NRT, which we will rewrite as P equals NRT over V. We then substitute values from the problem and our calculations over here, where we obtain the moles, 3.509 divided by 135 grams per mole, equals 0 0.026 moles. To sub to come up with P equals 0 0.026 moles multiplied by 0 0.08205 liters atmospheres over moles Kelvin multiplied by 375 degrees Kelvin all divided by 1 liter. Do the math and come up with pressure is equal to 0.8 atmospheres. <clears throat> when the system has come to equilibrium at 375 degrees Kelvin, the total pressure in the bulb is found to be 1.43 atmospheres. Calculate the partial pressures of SO2, Cl2, and SO2Cl2 at equilibrium at 737 375 degrees Kelvin. Here, we need the equation P total is equal to PSO2Cl2 plus PSO2 plus PCl2. We will need to use an ice chart to obtain our values for the equation. Ice stands for initial change and equilibrium. So to fill the chart out, we start by inserting the pressures for the beginning of the reaction. Initially, we calculated 0.8 TM SO2Cl2 gas, and since no dissociation occurred, at this point, there is no SO2 gas or Cl2 gas, and therefore, they exert no pressure. Using the stoichiometry of the equation, the coefficients, we know that one mole of SO2Cl2 gas yields one mole of SO2 gas and one mole of Cl2 gas, which we will show as X because we do not know the pressure associated with it yet which means that the pressure of one mole of SO2 gas is equal to the pressure of one mole Cl2 gas is equal to X. And so, to fill out the middle row, we write 0.8 minus X, and then over here under the SO2 gas column, we write plus X, and under Cl2, we write plus X. <clears throat> we use this to fill the P total is equal to PSO2 Cl2 plus PSO2 plus
plus PCl2 equation and come up with 1.43 is equal to 0.8 minus x plus x plus x. If we simplify and solve, we come up with x is equal to 0.63 atmospheres. <clears throat> this is the pressure associated with one mole of SO2 gas which is equal also to one mole of Cl2 gas at equilibrium. By plugging this back into the chart, we have all the partial pressures. 0 0.17, 0 0.63, and 0.63 atmospheres. <clears throat> Give the expression for the equilibrium constant either Kp or Kc for the decomposition of SO2, Cl2 gas at 375 degrees Kelvin. Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant you have given and specify its units. <clears throat> we will find Kp because we already have the partial pressures needed for the expression Kp is equal to reactant, no, products over reactants which would be Kp is equal to PSO2 multiplied by PCl2 all over the P of SO2Cl2. <clears throat> if we fill the expression in with our previous calculations, we have Kp is equal to 0.63 atmospheres squared over 0.17 atmospheres which we solve to find Kp is equal to 2.3 atmospheres. <clears throat> D. If the temperature were raised to 500 degrees Kelvin, what effect would this have on the equilibrium constant? Explain briefly. This short answer requires knowledge of Le Chatelier's principle. If a dynamic equilibrium is if a dynamic equilibrium is disturbed by changing the conditions, the position of the equilibrium moves to counteract this change. So, <clears throat> this means that if something is added to the left side of the equation, the right hand shift will occur to restore equilibrium. And so, if the heat was increased plus heat, a right hand shift will occur to relieve the stress on the left side. <clears throat> because remember, endothermic means heat is on the left side of the reaction, so increasing heat means to balance the equation once again, restore it its equilibrium, right hand shift will occur producing more products <clears throat> and because the products are in the denominator of the KP expression the value of the equilibrium constant will decrease that is how to solve the 1983 AP chemistry free response question number one <clears throat>